So to dive into this, I, you know, I said reconciliation. Joe Manchin uh, will not support key climate provisions. So I want to show you guys here an article in Vox titled exactly that. Joe Manchin won't support a key climate program. Alternatives won't be enough. The clean electricity program is the backbone of the energy transition, experts say. A key climate policy designed to phase out fossil fuels will likely be cut from Democrats' upcoming reconciliation package due to opposition from Senator Joe Manchin, who has reportedly refused to back the measure as negotiations over the budget bill continue. According to the New York Times, Coral, da Coral Davenport, the first reported, who first reported, excuse me, the news on Friday, Manchin, who chairs the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, will not support the sweeping clean, clean electricity program that is widely seen as the centerpiece of the bill's climate plan. The $150 billion program, officially known as the Clean Electricity Performance Program, or CEPP, would reward energy suppliers who switch from fossil fuels like coal and natural gas to sustainable power sources like solar, wind, and nuclear power, which are already in use by about 40% of the industry and find those who do not. Experts believe the program is the most effective way to slash U.S. carbon emissions significantly enough to prevent the, the global temperature from rising by 1.5 degrees Celsius, a threshold, threshold which would have drastic consequences for the planet if exceeded. So Manchin here um, doing what Joe Manchin does. Right? We, we know where Manchin's money comes from. Um, West Virginia is is a a state where he can get away with this because it is a conservative state and um it's really unfortunate to see him doing what he can to hold this stuff up also obviously kirsten cinema whose corruption has been very well documented in her conduct as of late go, running off to to have dinner with her pack at some fancy hotel um and claiming she was going to a doctor's appointment instead of staying in dc to work and negotiate on this bill. So we have a couple of Democrats, and really there are a lot more of them, you guys, that are just perfectly happy to hide behind Manchin and Cinema. They're perfectly happy to not be the loud voice. They can go back to their constituents and say, well, you know, I tried. I really did want the reconciliation bill, but you know, we got a couple of members that, you know, so they, they can go back to their constituents and and play both sides. They don't actually have to pass the bill, which they probably really don't want to pass, at least large portions of it. And then they can go back to their constituents and say, well, I really wanted to pass the bill. Right. So it's cover for all of the rest of the Democrats, many of whom are quite conservative. Um, and I think it is doom in terms of Biden, because if he if he really wants to get reelected, what's happening right now with his reputation and his approval is, I think, a trend that's going to continue. And when you do virtually nothing uh, after you're elected president and given both chambers of Congress, it's pretty natural for the voters to get turned off and decide they're not going to turn out for you again. Right. It's it's not a far fetched thing that you might see a lot of voters stay home if if Biden decides that what he's done is enough. Um, and obviously, even this reconciliation bill is not anywhere close to enough. So on the left, we're just perpetually told no about the vast majority of things that we want. Uh, but I do hope that we at least get some of these provisions. Of course, the 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 climate one is <laughs> what do other issues matter if uh, we're not going to address the climate, you guys? If we're not going to have a habitable planet, then what's the point of any other policy? So the, it's it should be treated with the utmost urgency. And it's really sad to see it falling by the wayside and uh, continuing to, you know, trend towards such disastrous results like in our lifetime it's already happening all these massive floods the extreme weather that we're seeing um we're going to see sea levels rise you know this this is a product of climate change and portions of the globe are drifting towards uninhabitable we're going to start to see the effects of this quite quickly um and and despite that joe manchin still uh siding with republicans on on this issue and deciding to oppose key climate programs. Um, I want to talk briefly.